I hope you had a good February for KDP sales and in this video I'm going to show you what my sales were for the month of February for KDP. Hello home bosses, I'm Nuria Corby from thehomeboss.com. Welcome to my channel which is all about helping you to make money online and if that sounds interesting to you please click the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can get more videos like this so how was your february i know that a lot of people were complaining that there were no sales some people were saying that there were quite good sales i was a little bit worried about february because january and february are usually quite slow months so i was really pleasantly surprised when this february was actually quite good for me so let's hop into the screen share and i'll show you what my kdp earnings were for last month so here are my earnings for the month of february for amazon kdp and it's a lot better than i was expecting for the month of february quite honestly so that's $3,904 and as you can see from the graph there isn't too much of a fluctuation. Some days are better than others. I had a really good day on the 24th and on the 27th of February towards the end of the month but it's pretty much um, quite sort of steady over the month. Maybe the beginning was a little bit slower but it's the normal kind of pattern that I would expect. I always expect sales to go up a little bit at the end of the month and at the beginning of the month because that's when people get their wages and they get paid and that is when people spend more traditionally. But, you know, who knows, that can change as well. I didn't have more sales around Valentine's Day. Normally you would expect earnings to go up a little bit but because I don't really have many seasonal books I have some seasonal books and I have some Valentine's Day books I sold some but it wasn't a big rush for the Valentine's Day market I prefer to make evergreen books because then I can sell them all year round but the other thing that you can do is if you're producing Valentine's Day books you can adjust your keywords so that you can sell them for other days as well. So someone might want to buy a book like that for an anniversary. So that's another thing that you can do. So any seasonal books, for example, Valentine's Day books or um, Mother's Day books, if you can make them so that people can also gift them for birthdays. So if it's your mother's birthday, you can make the same type of books that you can um, advertise for Mother's Day for somebody's birthday, for your mother's birthday. So that is one way to target um, sort of seasonal books. If you can find or if you can make them so that they also apply for other days, that to me is better than just making a seasonal book that says for Mother's Day or for Valentine's Day. So my Valentine's Day books are more the kind of books that you can also give for an anniversary or for a birthday, that kind of thing. So yeah, those are my February sales and you can see that there are no great big fluctuations some days are lower than others but you know like i said that is to be expected so the three thousand nine hundred and four dollars are not my net because we have to take away the ad spend for that and i'll show you my ad spend so my total ad spend from the first of february to the 28th of february was 664 pounds 97 pence and what is that in us dollars well let's have a look um so that is 664 pounds 97 pence is 918 dollars 65 cents so we have to take that away from our total spend so if i go back to my amazon royalties so that's 3904 and you take away the ad spend and that gives you my net earnings and other than that 
I just have a few subscriptions so Creative Fabrica, Canva, that kind of thing you have to take that away as an expense and that leaves me with quite a good month still for February so I'm very happy with that and I've got more books planned for the rest of the year so that I can increase this hopefully and I'm very eager to find out what March is going to be like so so far my March is going okay actually if I'm lucky it might even be a little bit better than February so fingers crossed <laughs> that that is the case and uh, let me know how you were doing in February I hope that February has been good February is a really low month normally in any business February January February even March can be a little bit slow but I'm really happy that that wasn't the case for me this year so I'm very grateful and um, just to say that this is very different from last year as well so it just goes to show that if you hang on in there you can make a good income with Amazon KDP it's a slow process this isn't you know this you can't earn this in your first month but if you persevere and you put out good books then you can eventually arrive to a really good income so that is my income for the month of February so I hope you enjoyed watching that I post my income reports because I hope they are motivational for you I know that not everybody can achieve this straight away I didn't achieve this straight away either so it takes some time to reach this stage but I hope that I can motivate you and show you that it can be done you know people are saying oh no I can't do it I'm not getting any sales it doesn't work it does work because I was at that point as well you know I was at the point where it didn't work <laughs> and I didn't give up and I think that is the key don't give up because it's it's possible so just keep making books and keep making different books if your books are not selling then you have to change something you have to change the niches or you have to change the way you make your covers or you have to change the interiors but change something because if you're not selling there's a reason for that and it can be done so you can achieve this kind of um, income and even more you can be better than me there's nothing to stop you from doing that and it is possible so I hope you enjoyed it I hope it has motivated you I hope you keep going and I'll see you in my next video bye bye